This imaging application is scanning a toy bear to create a character for the popular game Minecraft. It's one of many new apps that lets users customize their games with a camera powered by an Intel chip called RealSense. It looks at things both in the visual spectrum as well as in the infrared spectrum. It's bouncing infrared off, which is what gives things the volume. I mean, you could scan your face, you can scan, you know, toys, just pretty much any object. The spatial modeling can be used to create 3D images of people etching an image with a laser inside a block of glass. A company based in Russia and California is scanning images of people to be animated characters in computer games. Another app lets musicians play virtual instruments by moving their hands through the air. Yet another, a memory mirror, helps customers decide what clothes to buy as they pose in front of a smart display. It is now in use in several department stores and can sense a person's position and shape. And identify exactly where, what are your boundaries and change the color of whatever you're wearing without you needing to actually change the, the clothes itself. Spatial recognition can help drones maneuver through obstacles while flying at high speed. So it can detect objects at a certain distance and talk to the autopilot on the drone and say, hey, you need to move away, the object is getting closer. The same system is helping robots make room delivery in hotels. Several prototypes are at work in San Francisco. These developer apps and high-tech products, from the whimsical to practical, are now or may soon be on the market. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, San Francisco.